I've been improving my planetary imaging with one goal in mind. Get good enough to map the Martian surface and capture Olympus Mons at opposition at the end of the year. I've made a bunch of videos and we've come a long way, and I've gotten some decent results, but we are certainly not there yet. So I was looking around on the marketplace, and I saw something. Something very nice. This whole telescope set for only 300 bucks. It was amazing. Of the new stuff, the biggest change is actually probably going to be the camera. So I'll be dropping my DSLR and astrophotography tool, and instead using that new camera with something more purpose-built like Fire Capture or Sharp Cap, which should give me much more comprehensive settings and potentially allow me to get faster frame rates. And to make things even better, it just so happens that for the next week and a half or so, the jet stream is going to be really far away. So the atmosphere up high is going to be really still. And a still atmosphere up high leads to great seeing. In this case, about a 4 out of 5, which is fantastic for planets. Unfortunately though, the planets themselves are actually only going to be up in the very early morning, so I'm going to have to force myself up. But this should be a really good opportunity to get stuff like Saturn and Jupiter. All right, let's jump forward to when I'm on site and sleep deprived. Out on site now, but I made a critical error. There's dust all over my lenses, and I don't have that much time before the sun comes up, so got to do this fast. Alright, that's the best I can do with this time crunch. Looks like we're going to be stuck to the bottom right corner, which is mostly dust free. Let's see how this goes. <laughs> Sun's coming up. Time to head home and see what we got. And this is our Jupiter live view. The moment I saw this, I got super excited. There's barely any shimmer, and you can tell there's tons of detail hidden in there. The reason it's black and white right now is actually because it hasn't been debayed yet, but let's get this processed and I'll let the data speak for itself. Since I was feeling super encouraged by the Jupiter Live View, I decided to go for a different target too. I'm sure a lot of you have seen Astro Biscuit's video on the blue lava lake on the moon and I wanted to see if I could nab that as well. As a quick refresher, the blue lava lake on the moon is actually a titanium rich lava deposit that's long since hardened, 
that was actually discovered by astronauts on the Apollo 17 mission because it actually looks like a big blue lake that they saw when they were flying over. So this is our attempt frame. It's about a minute and a half of video stacked together into a single image just like we do with the planets. If you sharpen it, you can actually see a lot of the valleys in the lunar surface. But if we zoom in right over here, this dot right there is actually the blue lake on the moon. And if we switch from our sharpened version into a color enhanced and saturated one, you can actually see that it is indeed blue, which is awesome. We've come a long way, but we still got a ways to go. There's still some more software to learn, like WinJupos, which does derotation, but I'm optimistic that when Mars gets a little bigger, we're going to be able to get some good shots. And plus, having the second scope now opens up multiplexing, so whenever I'm out on site doing DSOs, I can hit two targets instead of just one. I've potentially got some stellar spectroscopy stuff in the works, if I can get that to work, but stay tuned guys, thanks for watching.